Yeah, I know, it is. It's too funny. The trouble is, uh, I'm just going to have to guess. When you're, when you're filming. You might be filming now, you might be not. I'm just going to sign another one of these lovely prints. But they, they haven't been uh, torn out of their size yet, like those ones. But, uh, uh, no, I mean. Hi. It's me. And um, I'm here with a pencil and uh, a lot of work, which I'm signing. Um, and it's the show called Nest, which is opening, which is open now. I think this is a pre-recorded segment that you're going to be watching whilst real life is transpiring. So this show is called Strangeness, and it's about um, some work that I did for a book with a writer named Robert McFarlane. And the book was called Ness, and it was about uh, a strange sort of untrue island off the coast of the east of England. And uh, Robert wrote a very strange book. I think his first, his first work of fiction, if you could call it that, um, in which he describes various strange occurrences on the island in the Green Chapel, which is... Here. Uh, these works were sort of taken from um, photographs taken on, on Orphan Ness, and uh, they were really uh, an attempt to delineate the, the sort of post military industrial guilt that had been imposed upon Orphan Ness. So this place, which is very bleak, very beautiful, very empty, had been colonised by, by the, the merchants of death of the 20th century to test out radar, to test out detonators for uh, nuclear bombs, to test trajectories and kill ratios, kill probabilities. So the island was fenced with, uh, with concrete posts and barbed wire uh, you had to sign the official secret act to be allowed to work there, and you could not discuss what you did when you were there. All that's come to an end at the end of the Cold War, and what we're left with is an island which is distinguished more by the relics of this industrial, military... Uh, I mean, it was a facility for testing, for testing out ways to kill people. Um, and, and that's because of that it's left with this sort of melancholy, haunted feel. I mean, to be honest, the east of England feels fucking pretty melancholy already. So when you add to that this kind of stuff, then it's, it really multiplies the eeriness. So this work is an attempt to sort of explicate that with a pen, and then latterly with uh, printing, screen printing, and the application of precious metals Precious things, such as gold, such as silver, such as copper, bronze, and various other fragments of different sort of qualities of gold and copper and so on. Um, so this is to try and bring alive this sort of like underlying beauty that's underneath the horror. So and thus ends the pre-recorded segment of me explaining what it is about, because later on I'm going to have a drink. <laughs>